correction. All right. Uh, being six o'clock, call the uh, monthly meeting of the Gosstown Sewer Commission to order. Present, uh, Commissioner Wooten, Commissioner Bouchard. And can you show that Commissioner Crane is absent? And also, Selectman's Rep. Dave Pierce. And Helen is with us. Mike Yergo and Mike Walton. All right. Um, approval of the minutes for last June 8th, 2010. I make a motion that we approve the minutes as recorded. Seconded. Any discussion? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we have a short agenda tonight, folks, so let's, uh, the, the biggest thing coming up right now is the 2011 budget discussion. Ellen, when are we have to turn these back in and get this straightened out? Mm. Probably next week. Just the draft. The draft of this? Okay. But we don't present it until the 23rd of October. We've typically done this in a work session. Right. Yeah. And that's rather than trying to bind our time up like that, I'd right. like to try to do a work session for right. next week. I'm going to be away for the next two weeks. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm out the rest of this week. I'm already out, so. Um, well, what? I, I think, in, I mean, it doesn't have to be till October. Well, that's what I was thinking. That's why I was wondering when you said next week. And, and right. I, I guess Janice is looking for some default numbers. Well, d the I default numbers don't affect our budget because we're an enterprise. Well, I was just going to say, we so don't. They, they they have I, I, I don't know why they that, that would be. That, that, that doesn't No, I know. They sometimes us. have a hard time with that. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have anything from her. You know, I don't. I, I'm why don't we just say that we'll, when Steve is back and. Um, and the three of you are all back. Yeah. When all three of us are back, let's set up a, um, a workshop. And uh, as we've typically done. Okay. Yeah. Early September. I would say the first week in September because we are our meetings the second Tuesday, so right. I don't that, know. That sounds dynamite. Let's get through. Let's get through then, and let's get, let's schedule That's that fine. and go from there. Okay. <coughs> Any time after Labor Day weekend. Well, no, actually, from the thirtieth forward till right. our next meeting, well, I'm okay. pretty open except for the first Tuesday okay. for the ZBA meeting, okay, which well. is September seventh. So maybe sometime like the thirty-first. That's a Tuesday. That's a Tuesday? <coughs> yeah, that's fine with that me. That would be great. You can, okay. can confer, you can confer with Steve, and that's so far enough out that I can put it in my schedule. How's that for you, Dave? What date did you suggest? Tuesday, uh, August 31st. That's probably three weeks from tonight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you'll know, probably include a public register at the two of them then. Yeah. Well, that's why we can get everybody you, right. Everybody we'll together, you guys. And yeah. I probably won't be here. Where are you going to go? I'll be huh? getting my shoulder operated oh, on the 30th. Uh-oh. Oh, they did give you that. Sorry huh? to hear that. Did you tear it? Yes. Mm -hmm. In two places. Oh, is it going to screw it, turn it back? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have it done, and you'll be out on vacation. Well, we don't know if I'd call it vacation. <laughs> yeah, well, it's sick leave. Right. I'll be All staring right. at my new pool table with one arm. <laughs> you can use they a bridge. Gave you that <laughs> <laughs> It's late afternoon. You can come over and bring your Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> you you know, that we won't question what's in it because you're going to be out on it. <laughs> and we're That's only going to be doing a preliminary budget right. thing, so you'll right. have more opportunity at the yep. meeting no, to fine, review yeah. it and, and, and make any corrections. So I think that will. Or you can just give us whatever numbers you have okay. by then. Right. So you don't have Let's to table that. that until we have a workshop on the 31st. 31 or any time that week is fine right. Tuesday, okay. Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday Tentatively scheduled for the 31st at, and we'll do it at DPW like we normally do and 3 o'clock is what we've done in the past so yeah. if that works okay. good. that's where we'll go and you can notify Steve and everybody else good. thank you Ellen you're welcome uh, DES project list okay. just provided that for you so that you can take a look again yeah, the ones um, that which ones were submitted for pre-approved pre application, did uh, he basically did three hundred thousand dollars worth of I and I? Okay. And um, uh, and then he was looking at a couple of these projects, and we were talking briefly because um, we have so many that are over one hundred eighty-three thousand dollars, or hundred over you know over a hundred thousand dollars, I should say, that we could submit for those for the SRF, 
and under the hour funding and see if anything comes about on that and, and what's uh, the percentage of the relief of that is it forty percent it's um, that was uh, twenty to thirty percent twenty to thirty yeah our funding versus the fifty that we're already enjoying but on the mass road and, and which that, that'll include the federal wage right you got to do your bacon wage yeah I mean the, y I, yeah. We've already been we've already been assisted once, and the, you know it's a question of whether we would be assisted again. But if you don't put in for it, right. you, you don't get be. a shot at it. Right. Okay, and, and now they're now they have just now opened up today, uh, applic or in the last the, basically this week, opened up applications for state aid grant uh, for uh, for the um, state aid grant. Now. Is that this one? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. My question is: August. Does that include? The cost includes re replacement, does, but it does include the regular soap lighting and point repairs and manual rehab. It is designed. The SRF one that we that he put in for is only for. Um, uh, it's not designed for uh, expansion. It's for upgrades to your existing systems, which would include repointing, rehabbing, um, re replacing uh, lines that are at capacity and things like that, Mike. So yeah, so the regular rehab is not included. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't. As your normal wear and tear maintenance? No. 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 I and I, you know, that would be, you know, if you're going to like, but what you have been, you know, the program you've so been. Yeah, so the other, the other program in the past, you, you would get state funding if you expanded or you enlarged the pipe. Right. Does it mean that now the, if you have an eight inch saw main, does it, is now, is that included? If, if you, you kept, if it kept an eight inch? Yeah, if it was, if it, even if you kept it eight inch, because if it's been deteriorated, it's cracked, it's got, you know, it has to be replaced. You know, that that's that's what that's the basically what it is. That's what the program's designed to do. So the three hundred thousand was for upgrade to systems I and I twenty to thirty percent. We sent submitted it as of July thirty first. Now what? Now now you said we're going for state. What they what they have done state. is they are now taking yeah. applications for state aid grant. State aid grant has been closed for. Um, Six years, I think it is now. Five yeah, years. It must be. Yeah. About five or six years. They are now taking applications that are due by the end of August for st uh, for projects that you might want to consider, like um, you know, pick off of uh, Table Nine out of the CMOM report. Um, you can pick a project, and you know, if you want to pursue it, or uh, you know, and uh, go for a state aid grant for that. If they have money, if Concord funds a state aid grant, because that's funded through Concord. Um, then they, then they will go down through a list and, and rank them and select projects that could be put on the state aid grant, as I understand it right now. Okay, is there any, um, what's the percentage that, or is it just that they grant us the money at a low interest rate? They or would, they, they would, you would get a, a, typically what a state aid grant was in the past of 20%. Okay. Um, I don't know this more I, as of right now I don't know exactly what that how much that percentage they may be talking about I haven't I to be honest with you I haven't gotten around to reading the uh, the notice that came out of DES yet do you know that. which ones were submitted for the 300,000 uh, 300,000 was originally just I and I all simply he just listed his I and I come in and deal with him in, uh, inflow and um, and were the they on this so were they on this it was a it was specific. It was, was not generic. specific. It was not a specific submission. So okay. So it was non specific. So you could go specific. through here and pick three hundred. So what he did, he took all the replacements, okay. and that's where you came up with the cash. Yeah, you got three. Okay. He was putting in for three hundred thousand. He said, "Well, I could, you know, I could modify that and add in one of these projects and stuff like that." I said, "Well, you know, all these are, you know, we have a lot of the slip lining projects done. We still have some replacement. We still have some, you know, some areas of roots and and." Uh, so you could do one big one or six yeah, little ones. Well, like Lamps and so Ab, we need to do a replacement. Who is going? Who is going, yeah, well, who is that going to be yeah, the? Just, yeah, yeah right, right. That was a poor example on my part I'm sorry it's all right I'm sorry what pick the only one we did who is going to be the decision maker as to where the 300,000 is going to be spent if we were selected yes to receive a grant then we need we need to convene the, the, the board would have to convene with just like we normally do with DPW. so the commissioners would commissioners and we commission. figure out where we're gonna what we're gonna do what our time and you know what our timetable is for being able to prepare it and how can we but fund you it? Don't, you don't and we would do that in coordination with DPW yeah. because they have their road oh, plan. Exactly. Yeah, you just don't want to spend too much time so, doing it until you find out if you've got it or right. not. Right. Yeah, I mean, kind of yeah. right. 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 I just want to know so where the decision making is coming 300, from. 
Okay. So that I cover one, like I'm looking at Lewis Street for existence for, I just put the page and found this one. But yeah, I mean, we've, we've but got, yeah, I'm saying Lewis, 243,000. So, yeah, so you're looking at, so that's something that's going to run in consecutive years, you think? Or whether it's, it's a one time shot? It's a one time shot. Again, right now it appears to be a one-time shot. They're getting they're getting some R, uh, additional R stimulus money, and here it is. Give us your list. I would imagine. I think they have they have a certain basket of money they know they're going to get, and I would accept. I would expect that the applications are going to exceed that by tenfold, oh, just sure. like the last time. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's going to be you know who the justification. As I said, we are already inter- you know, entertaining and welcoming a two and a half million dollar fifty percent. So, do we have a good shot at? Who knows? Yeah, it's yeah. Like in the water. We have one of the most proactive programs in the state in terms of uh, communities our size and smaller for what you do. So maybe they would you know that weighs heavily. And okay, yeah, good, yeah. Other towns, you know, are not so proactive. Right. When is the state going to notify the towns as to how much? they have been awarded well I guess it would be whether you've been awarded and then and, and, and you know and that I don't think that occurs yeah. till I believe that decision is pending I haven't talked to Paul uh, Paul Hurst I haven't talked to Brian Hilliard on it either um, but I'm, pe- I'm I believe that question is it's pending sometime in September when they know they have commitments okay. okay decision in September we should know probably by our next meeting okay whether what the deadline is for their decision okay and do we have Actually, if I can go on site and then if I if I if I find out I'll, I'll just email everybody and and then is is there a road plan at DPW that would assist us in deciding which projects we would we would pick in coordination with the grant if if we are awarded a grant Yes, I mean DPW has their has their road program forecast out. Got on how many years I saw on the whiteboard anyway, but it's it, but it becomes a matter of but, yeah. I mean, it comes out in years, but it's also not etched in stone either. Right. That's Would the problem. you be able to bring that at the September meeting, the road plan? Well, I guess the, the issue is, I mean, let's find out if we do it. Let's not get too far ahead yet until we know if we're going to be selected. And, and okay. To bring the road plan, but if we get selected, right. my my guess is if we if if Goffstown is is fortunate to be selected, let's convene a workshop. Right. Okay. And let's figure out where we're going. Well, that's just it. Like the road plan is not etched in stone right. either. I mean, we had all kinds of things planned, and the Mother Day floods come, and we didn't, <laughs> we didn't do anything. <laughs> we're that doing we were waterways. Right. right. Yeah. We just rebuilt what we yeah. had. Okay. And we have to, their so time. So we ta- do a road. We do a workshop on that. Right. Their timetable. DDS's that, timetable okay. for uh, for yeah. construction yeah. and all that has not has not really been formalized yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this year, the road plan was. Uh, like 99 percent firmed up in late March. Okay. Pres- uh, DPW presented it to the uh, selectmen. We dropped the road, added a couple roads, and then it entered the summer at at that phase. And uh, Carl made a presentation last night that there were maybe two or three changes now that the season's well underway, and there are some problems on some of the roads that prohibit us from getting a, a quick start and there's another road that has bumped up to the top of the pile so it's all in flux okay but it's like 99 percent understood late march is, but you know okay. carl carl yeah. can go it, 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 town engineer it. can go into the computer anytime any day you want and they can print you out the road plan it's just how valid is it but if you're applying for the money open-ended does it have to be street specific or if it's just so it, it was matter very, what it was a was. one page it was it was basically one page what is what is the principal use right. i and i and right. so it wouldn't matter if the road plan changed from say daniel Plummer to higgins right is if they were going to higgins then that's the one you would move to we would we you would, know we would just adapt as they do well i and again I, and i hear what you're saying but it's always good to have a fundamental yep. plan oh, yeah. in place and then if we have to make some corrections to it or adjustments to it because something has has fallen off the wayside then yep. then you make that adjustment but it's i think yep. it's always good to 
everybody be on the same page. So and when it comes to sewer and roads, we've done that in the that's, past. We did all the that's one thing I've learned. Let's do them all together so we're not digging up tar. Exactly. <laughs> you know, when we did Summer Street and everything, we worked with DPW on yeah. their road program and everything. And okay. Noel Crest and stuff. It was just once we know more, once we are giving more specifics. Uh, to the positive from DES, then we will start to, m to move forward with DPW and say, okay, here's our thought processes, where, where are your thought processes, and, and, we'll, and we'll gel it up. It's just right now, this was a quick turnaround. They needed to have it. Um, we kind of let it slip between meetings, and we just, and we got it in. It's always quick, Jim. Oh, SRF <laughs> is the same thing. It's always the 11th so. hour. I don't, <laughs> my world revolves around the 11th hour. I guess. <laughs> So. Um, the state aid grants that are due August 31st, and who is to pick projects? What what kind of what what? That's what I've written down. <coughs> I, I've got to get some additional information on that. I don't know full details on that yet, okay. and I just know we have to have it done by August 31st. So I would imagine um, that, as you have asked, Mike. I asked him the similar question, you know, what, you give us some details uh, you know, by your email. Yeah. And I'm, I'm waiting for some direction. I mean, I, and, I, and, I, and I've been so busy, I haven't logged on to DES to find out. So uh, I'm waiting to see. The, um, you know, once you get, once you get the grant, if you're, if you're selected and, you know, like uh, you raised a good point is how do we look at, you know, if we're only given 20 to, you know, a certain percentage, how do we look at pay, pay for all this, pay for the balance of it? Yes, yeah, so we'd have to evaluate that. And, um, you know, there have been, there have been times when communities said, you know, we're not in a financial position, I guess, now to really handle this. We just, you know, you deny and it goes on to the next yeah. person. Right. 20% you know, is nice, but coming up with the other 80 is the issue. It can be difficult, especially with, in consideration of Mass Road and things like that. And that's one of the reasons um, when um, SRF came out and it had a higher percentage, okay, that's interesting. Let's go by the state aid grant. And, you know, my concern is, I guess I, what I'm saying is I'm sharing the same concern with you. We don't want to go out, get too far out on, you know, right. based on, you know, based on some, a limited amount of free money and then really overburden ourselves. So, um. Okay. So we'll. I guess just, a, I guess what to summarize, if, if we are selected, we'll, we're going to sit down and make a very clear and concise decision whether to, to move forward or to say no. Okay. Right now, at this point, Mast Road has been moving around. Uh, that project seems to be moving fairly well. Um, and uh, that issue with the um, so I don't, I mean, in terms of overages, I don't. We that don't issue was resolved with the contaminants, and they the picked option four, not <laughs> option five. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've that's something we've that has been in discussion since before it went out to bid, I guess, and now it became time, and you know, we've gotten. Moved more but well, the consultants got more information from des and as to what actually that material is and what it is so i think they're moving forward with the selection of the of the uh, duct line and pipe and uh, and there was if, if i remember correctly and in, in the in the um in the total budget for the for or when the contract for the bids were put were submitted and and the information we, they were given there was a portion of, of the 2.5 million that was set aside for possibly um, um, construction, con contingencies. Con construction contingencies yeah. for possibly finding this contamination because we knew it possibly was still there and I believe there was a, a, a fail safe kind of amount that was put put yeah. there in, in the amount to offset that if it did happen so it wouldn't be above and beyond that which no, and then the realistic on the other side of it, um, Kathy, and it, typically with these unit price jobs, um, you rarely, it's, it's a rare project that actually the project expends the full amount that was on the bid estimate because it's, it's based on the amount of work executed and it's the work that's, uh, the items of work that are provided in the bid estimate are estimates of the work. So, you know, more often than not, you tend to run around 90% uh, when the project's done, you're actually expending only 90% of the bid estimate. Sometimes it's as low as 85 or something, depending on the condition. I would ex expect that some of the uh, uh, state allowances won't be fully expended. And so basically when we're all done, even though we're going to incur an $87,000 change order because of these contaminants, I think when all, all said and done and the project's done and you do a final, final balancing change order, we're still going. We will probably end up on the negative side. You know, we'll be on the less point. than yeah. The two point five. Right. 
and the um, I think that Steve had brought up the point when Mike Trank was here because we had talked about the contaminated I area and I think that Steve had mentioned maybe testing at that point and Mike said that um, and I might be misstating this and correct me if I'm wrong but I think Steve they agreed that because there was an allowance that was put into the contract in case they ran into this that they preferred to go forward with the contract as stated knowing that there was an that Mike Trank had built an allowance right. into it and therefore we didn't have to go out there and test the soil at that time for the contaminants no. Do you remember that? that yeah, there was a discussion on that. There was a discussion on that. that so. And DES is and basically that is all under the control of uh, DES right now, anyway. Right. The other one's doing the testing, and so yeah, we, we're not going to have to spend too much money. Was it, in refresh my memory, was it such that the, the owner of the source of the contaminant is still could possibly be responsible for any additional under the law under they're, they're still they're still yeah. they're still yeah, liable and DES would then is you know, DES seeks um, reimbursement through them they and, could, and or yeah. if the town expends money on on that point they, they they have a they have a right I mean that's 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 governed by law right yeah I, th I think I remember that I remember that discussion because it was similar situation going back a number of years when you know based on the same plume is when the gas uh, there was a vapor intrusion into um, Bartlett School, and, and there was a, you know, some investigative. Set. Originally, it was thought that we were the culprit, the sewer commission, and we, you know, oh yeah, well, it's just and, and testing was done on our behalf and uh, proven that yeah, this is not. this is not our contaminant, and it was something else, and it proved to be the, but uh, yeah, they that um, all the work and the you know that went on the uh, the vapor extraction and system that was put in and everything like that, it was all. Went back to the owner, and what I know. Hmm. So, yeah, interesting scenario we have. Ongoing projects. Um, the See, slopes. I actually put. Sometimes I'll put something, even though there isn't really anything to discuss. At least it'll be in the record that yep. we said that Carl. No, that's why I wanted to email. Thank, and thank you for that, and yeah. that's excellent. I mean. Um, we had authorized Carl on the slope stabilization project mm -hmm. for the rails to trails where we had the washout a number of years ago and we exposed the pipe. Right. Um, we told Carl to move forward uh, with uh, GCA to get that, you know, put the bid packages together and get that ready to go to bid. And from uh, what Ellen, what Carl has communicated with Ellen is that that's almost ready to be going, going out to bid. And that is a project that is off highway and can be done uh, it doesn't require paving, you know, meeting deadlines for paving or anything like that. So, you know, time is not of the essence if this doesn't go out for another week or something like that because actually work in the fall period is probably a little bit better down there anyway. And that's a, what was that, a 2080? Or was it 46? It was a 20. That is a FEMA hazard mitigation grant, um, which is... I'm trying to remember too. Now I think it was 2080. I thought it was 2080. Of which we already have the 101. We have our money all put right. together. Right. For right. Anyway. But as I signed off on some of these payables, there are, there are still coming in some pretty hefty bills from the consultant. The consultant from for the, yeah. them. And, and the big claim is relatively favorable, and that's an arc work job. So it is difficult, but I mean, we, we should probably enjoy something a little better on that one. So the bids are out. I know uh, they haven't gone. That has not advertised for bid yet. Carl's anticipating getting that out very shortly. Right. And uh, Which so my right? point, is, my point being, if he, if Carl gets it out to bid, you know, in the next couple of weeks, and you you have it out for a two week or three week bidding period, by the time you get, by the time you you know you we uh, a contractor is authorized in September, it really doesn't affect. The project at all because there's no paving there's no you know you don't have to you know by October 15th or anything like that because it's all off highway and it's actually probably a better, better time to work when the foliage is off the trees and everything so it's yeah it would be good if we could get the bids out um, as soon as possible because then we'll be able to maybe incorporate them into a workshop to review them instead of having a second kind a bid opening or whatever I, well, I would have to, yeah, we yeah. may well, you could do the bid opening, then still, you know, do yeah. the. Right. The commission then, uh, if I understand what you're saying, the commission is still anticipating that uh, 
project will be uh, done this this construction season. That's what I'm. That's what we're still anticipating, David. Is it would be done and uh, be done by the end of this year. Uh, the town already has a, a grant with money in hand to uh, improve the rail trail uh, very near to your construction site. However, Kyle has, has whispered in our ear saying a uh, word to the wise. Uh, your construction crew will be staging their equipment and trucks right where we're improving the trail. <laughs> yeah. So don't improve the trail improve until the trail, yeah. your crew gets out of there. Yeah. So we are, uh, you know, there's another grant for trail construction that's going to be right on the heels of your construction. Dave, does that does that grant have a have a sunset on it also, or is that the money expires in 30 June next year? Okay. So if worse comes to worse, uh, we'll do the trail upgrade next spring. Okay. However, it's possible to get it in late this year if weather's favorable. Well, and when your the bid schedule is favorable. Excuse me. When the bids go out, will they have a time? Um, an end time on the, when yes. the job should get done? Yes. Never give a never give a contractor carte blanche. You might never see him again. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. No. It will have. I thought we were at year end anyway for this one. I'm just going to was to say. Ellen brings up a good point. That's what I was. Gonna, we have a sunset on the on yes. FEMA that we have to have that expended by year end. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. That's a good incentive. Yeah, that's no, a good incentive. Is. So that's why, my guess is this will probably have a 60 day contract limit on it. Okay. The plans for that have been presented to the selectmen. That's down to the nth detail of every rock being moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my understanding. Um, if anybody has any further on slope stabilization, I'd like to move on to just a quick discussion on Mass Road. We already touched on that quickly. Um, you know, there has been, from what I understand, there's been, you know, uh, they've kept people up to date from emails and stuff. There has been some ledge encountered, and the contractor has been um, moving around between phases to accommodate the blasting. I believe most of the blasting is all done now. It is done. It is done now. I don't think people. Okay. I don't think well, I'm just, I, you know, I mean, I, it would have been nice if Will Tanner had a representative here, um, Bob Marshawn or something. But anyway, um, I agree. And uh, that was my communication to uh, to, to Mike. But anyway. So, and I understand that, you know, as um, Commissioner Wooten has already brought up, we've been discussing is uh, because of the contamination of hydrocarbon contamination in a couple of areas, we are looking at a change order to the project to acquire some uh, ductile iron pipe and some um, rubber gaskets that are, um, I'm losing my words here, folks, I'm getting too old, um, that are basically are resistance to breakdown from the hydrocarbons in the soil vapors. I mean, if they should be present in the soil. Right now, the contaminating levels are a lot further below where we are now, but this is just a precaution should they rise back up to where we are. And um, so we're not forced to the, go back and uh, uh, replace lines at some date because of if the contaminant hydrocarbons get up to that level. So. Um, and that's what they did now. They're starting on services. They're doing, they're doing they started services on services now. today. So what do they do when you get a change contract. order? Do you back out that which was already projected in the in the in the in the quote? Yes. And then add in the change order. Right. If the change order is based on okay, we had to put it yeah very much. Right. So. We had three hundred say three hundred feet of pipe. We got to go for a pipe upgrade. You had already bid this amount of money, but now we're going to you know the cost of the pipe and the cost of the rubber you know the, you know, right. the rubber gaskets is this money. We're going to duck out that much. You're still getting paid the same amount of money to put the pipe in. Right. But you, it's a deduction on material costs. When they submit a change order, okay, mm -hmm. does the change order reflect the difference between the two? Yes. So it doesn't. It doesn't reflect the gross amount. Like it doesn't reflect the gross amount, and you back it out. It just reflects that what's already in there plus what it will cost additionally to have your this. Typically, just a change, right? Typically, your change backup will right. your backup the the backup the, the supportive documentation right. will show all the breakdown. Will show the original pipe cost, and then shows the additional pipe cost. And if there's any additional labor, I mean, if, right. change, and and then what it does is balances all out, and then that what goes into the change order. Do we have a net increase or do we have a net decrease? Okay, so the change order is the net. Yep. Okay. To the project. Okay. So yes, it does. Just because you know he doesn't get paid extra, right? He's already been. You know, we've already been 
he's already given us a price to put in a pipe, just change the pipe materials in this case. And until the next meeting, hopefully we can get a better update as to where they're going and any on the schedule. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any of that information to me. Uh, Fonzo, I know right now they're going to continue on services until they get the ductile iron pipe, okay. they're going to continue on. Last time I was down there, they were up to the school. That's where they left off originally, then they went back because the people blast survey was completed, yeah. and they went back to the blasting, which where they went to phase three. I was impressed. I was down there Saturday, and they had a crew down there on Saturday working yeah. in the manholes. I think they were, they were they lining them. The manholes have all it. been te tested except yeah. for 500, and I the sewer impressed. line's been tested. The manholes have been vacuum tested, and Saturday they were building the inverts. Because what happens is when they went down to uh, – Front of the hardware store, Auburn Hardware. Mm -hmm. That's where they're going to start walking into the original sewer line. So now they got to do bypass pumping, which that main has to be capable of handling the wastewater. Mm -hmm. So, in your opinion, when you look at what's going on there, do you feel that they are on? You know, they're pretty much on track. They're within. Yeah, the they're, they're on track. I mean, they're working every day of the week. You know, Saturday, except for Saturday and Sunday. Well, Saturday they put the inverts in, so it can have, well, accept live flow. Mike. You mentioned a few moments ago uh, they're starting some connections to the to the uh, property owners. <coughs> right. Is that are they active connections or just brought up into the? No, house? they're live connections. They're All live. the connections are going to be live. Because right now the, the houses are existing houses there now actually flow into the old main. The old main has not been abandoned. Mm -hmm. You have the new main that has to be ex be uh, con constructed except the live flow, which is, has been has been tested. So now you can make the transition over. I, I understand. Thank you. It seems to, overall, it seems to be very going very well, good. I'll tell you what, I'm, I, I'm, really with, I'm really pleased with. I'm really pleased with the traffic situation and how well <laughs> that has worked out. I, I don't think we've had any complaints from anybody. Certainly I've heard nothing. And every time I've gone down there, traffic has moved through Mass Road, has detoured around Mast Road, and it's nice to know that you've got a project that's this big on this size of a road in such a commercial, compact area that between the newspaper information that we gave to the public as to how the detours were going to be, I think that everyone worked well in making sure the public was well aware of where their traffic was right. going to go. And I, I I'm, I'm very pleased Yeah, with Megan's that. done a real good job making sure it gets to uh, Neil Funky gets so it gets onto the website and it gets distributed and as soon as she gets it out of Cadillo. So I mean, it's it's. Yeah, which now they do their own website. They're doing. They, it. Yeah, Neil doesn't do it anymore. Okay. No, Megan has access to the website, so it's, she makes changes as they come oh. in right oh, on the right. website itself. So Neil's not involved with it anymore. You've, you've, Jim, you've seen the the new look of the town website since last month. <laughs> I will be. It's embarrassing. You I don't will be to embarrassing to you say have to I have not been on. No, I have. It's changed. No, thanks. It's, so. it's different. Uh, I think most every community I seems to be in that major upgrade all of a sudden. And, uh, yeah, so. Good. I can't find some things that I used to be able yeah. to find. To be honest with you, that's how you discover new pages. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Do we develop that internally, or is that you know, at my age discovering new pages are not something I've liked <laughs> to do in my <laughs> spare time? But we don't like change now, do we? Um, <laughs> it, I agree. <laughs> sometimes, some, sometimes it can be a little bit too sophisticated. Well, I, I was on one, you know, one of my clients. I was trying to find minutes of the selectmen's meeting, and they just had a brand new one. And you know, so I finally, I, I said, I'm sorry, I cannot find it. And she said, and I was talking to town clerk. She goes, Oh, thank you. I, we knew we forgot to put something on. <laughs> There's no, it says agendas and, 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 and meetings, but there's no minutes of meetings, all agendas for any organization. So, uh, so all right, thank you. All right, good enough. So it wasn't just the old age coming through. Uh, oh, age receivables. Let's move down one more. Talk about age. Look at that. I, I know. <laughs> <Talk them>. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you should be a reporter. What a segue. <laughs> yeah. uh, TV, uh, radio broadcaster. Speaking of old. Uh, I, I just wanted to um, I just wanted to say that once again reminding people halfway through the quarter that they haven't made their payments more than compensates for the postage. Really? Okay, good. It Excuse continues me. to do that. So I'm just going to continue to do that halfway through a quarter for people who oh. have not 
I think that between the two of you, you and Kathy have developed a system of tracking this. Uh, we're doing much better, which I... Well, our, re our receivables are, are pretty much, I would consider them to be quite low. I mean, when I look at um, some of them, um, you know, we have like 15, as of July 31st, we had 15,000 that was due 2008. 2009, we had 34,000 that was due, but... And then, let me go, 2007, we have 2,800. Um, those are significantly low percentages when you consider the overall amount of billings that go out on an annual basis. So I think with um, Ellen's attentiveness to it and, and also the um, bringing on the mid-quarter reminders mm -hmm. um, that that has kept the receivables in an economic time when you would think there would be a slump in a receivable um, right on target and and I think we're we're very good. proud of that's encouraging to hear yeah thank you very good um, we're proactive Mitchell it's working out very mm -hmm. well we do have seven sewer properties that are going to be deeded to the town for non-payment just in the sewer arena by September 2nd was the date they were given. Yeah. I don't know whether that will actually come before the Board of Selectmen because there are other properties. The selectmen have seen a tentative right. list of properties that right. are eligible for right. uh, tax takeover, right. but um, there's been no action. No, no action, I was no. say. The, um, the advice from the tax collector was that uh, that list that we uh, saw was as the weeks approach September, it substantially it, it goes down. It does. Yes, it does. Good. And then uh, there's always the option that we don't have to take properties over no. because there may be uh, environmental problems. Right. And we want to do right. it for Which an expense. Right, the option that we can. Or um, there's a monthly rental charge for the unit. <laughs> uh, right. That would be a problem. Mm. Okay. Thanks for that update. See, continue to follow that. Uh, building adjustments. I see we're going to be adding some new one, new ones in. You know, Goffstown Primary Care is that up, up and up and running now? Yes, that they moment? moved in July seventh. July seventh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So that's two treatment units. And Abington Square is now coming online, and yes, um, their tie-in is all done. And, uh, I have a question on Abington Square, yeah. um, and and I don't know what, whether we got this answer or not. Was there a time limit set on that project in order that the strip mall or the, the other mall be completed as a mixed use development? Because we are dangling out there for the thir third of our third of the agreement of the 14333 as each part of the mixed use was to be implemented and I'm wondering if the third part of, of the mixed use which is the mall part dangles out there ad infinitum <laughs> it does is there a way that that or what did we did we set a time limit on that I couldn't find anything that said and is I there a time limit on it by the planning board or the planning ordinances, I would say, the ordinances of the town, that that would have to be done in order for that plan to be complete. No, I, I, I guess I can probably give you the best answer for that. And when, I, when that came in before us, originally with the townhomes were the last, very last thing that was ever going to be considered. Right. Um, the, the mall was going to go through. And um, at that point, there was even mass road sewer upgrade was never even, was never even really thought of. It right. was just it was hanging out there. We didn't know we were going to get an R. So. The co what what is out there, Kathy, is a commitment for that parcel to pay for the upgrade that was going to be that was required for that development, and that um, Mike Urgo through DPW instituted so they could get on board. Um, and that's what's still out there. They are still bound to that. That is the agreement. There is there is no timeline, but there is there is an agreement with that parcel that if as they continue forward, they are bound to the rest of that. Yeah. Okay. Yes, understanding that we might have to amend that. <laughs> well, I mean, certainly it's certainly worth if you know we can go back and revisit it and and talk with the uh, the, the realtors and stuff. But I mean, 
Um, that was the agreement. They, they originally had anticipated moving forward. Rite Aid was in, in construction. They were antici anticipated the mall to be moving right in, the little mall m along, mm -hmm. and economics being what it was and uh, funding being what it was, the town homes seemed to have gotten the funding they needed to move forward first, and so it kind of got screwed up. But they are there. Mm -hmm. As far as this this board is concerned, there is a commitment for the balance of that from that, that right. project. Right. So. Timetable, there is no timetable. So. I, I wouldn't mind entertaining something. If I knew what the planning planning issue was as to whether there was a uh, uh, an end date on that mixed-use development project, that we could possibly look at it. But I would think in all fairness, you know, we, you know, um, we may want to look at maybe two years or, or, or no, right, and, and enter into a conversation with them. And we know where we are, but enter into a conversation with them somewhere down the, the line. The point's well taken, and we probably should have done that. And it was an oversight, and um, and something that educated us for the future. Yes, yeah. Actually, the minutes contain two to three years. Well, that was their anticipation. We had asked them. Right. We had asked the question, well, "What do you feel the phasing of this will take?" And I believe Jeff Cavan answered uh, uh, from Jeff Moran answered that you know they would. The, uh, their client was anticipating two to three years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as we all know, economics is, mm. has- It is what it is. Has <laughs> modified some And that was a year ago, April. Yeah. yeah. Right, but he was anticipating that they were gonna- Right. Lose. But, you know, you raise a good point, and we certainly can go back and say it's been a while now. But we certainly have realized a bulk of the, um, yes. you know, a bulk of the um, receivables from that project with the you know hitch up fees and the now we're going to end up realizing more user fee income on a quarterly basis. Five hundred a quarter. So. so. Did you think about sending a letter, letter to them saying that they owe the balance of the money? Well, that's a possibility. I mean, then we could look at it doing the bond. One, you know, we'll go back and see what we we had said is it phases in and. Uh, what should they swap the phase? Pardon? The developer swapped the phase. Yes, they swapped the phase. The fa the money was supposed to come before the flow and. Yeah, it's got to be worse. Yeah, and we certainly can go back to them and like and say, say, you know, it's been changed around. We, you know, we, we need the balance. We've done the work, and mm -hmm. that was basically you know, it was originally phased in on mm -hmm. the, the idea that you were going to be done in two to three years, and we're carrying this cost. And yeah, well, it's, it's right. certainly be in the claim from yep. what Mike. Said. And I'd like to to also get a feel for what planning feels about it too, because there there has got there's got to be, I mean, if it's if it's an approved project. An approved application, they, they've approved it for a site plan and, and everything, then there is a contingency clause that if they have done a, a, a larger percentage of the work, then um, they, they can request an extension um, to continue on with the project. But with this, this is mixed use and new, and so how do, I'm not clear, happen, obviously. I'm not clear. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is uh, they end up going back to the planning board with a new concept on the site. So mm -hmm. there's three separate lots there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Pay attention to that. Very okay. good. Uh, um, just going back to Tatro Drive, Denise yes. Langley called the other day and said that they think they have a tenant for the other part of the building. Oh, okay. They've been They're trying hoping. to find one, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So that would come online as well. So right. the primary care is not full? No, they didn't no. take the whole. There's they the only took one level. Took so there's the a two level. Oh, this place is huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Primary car took the one level. And I know the language is a little for the tenant for the, mm -hmm. for the second well, level. Because she wanted to be reminded of how much they paid in the <coughs> accessibility <coughs> fee. So. And there is supposed to be a Planet Fitness moving in to Goffstown Plaza where the movie gallery was. Yes. Which really? would will probably up that usage their usage. Yeah, have which they would have to file for a permit for change of use. Right. right. They wouldn't because they'll have showers and everything like that. So. And there's another new restaurant going in at down there on Mass Road and that, that two story shopping organics or something wants to increase their Patty was telling me, wants to increase their square footage or something and add seating, which they haven't had before. Organics? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's it's a little a, shop a as little, you go uh, past, like you go past the Cumberland Farm. Place or something. Go down there on the left-hand side. I think that's it's where Manchester it is. Though. 
and they've just added the Mexican restaurant. Is, is the Mexican restaurant's added instead to that of building? Pizza Quest. Oh, it should yeah, be a change. That should be a change. Well, well, that's what was a restaurant. Was a restaurant. So it was so a restaurant. Right, right, but it's expanded. Still, it's still really a meal, mostly so. takeout. Do you have a Mexican anyway. restaurant that I don't yeah. know yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. La it's uh, Marco's Taqueria. Oh, where's that? I heard it was very good. Um, we saw you where Pizza Quest was. Yes. Just drive down Mass Road and see the guy in a sombrero. Mark been out there dancing with the uh, sombrero. I didn't know he had a Some Mexican guy was restaurant out there in town. Wow. I don't know who it was, but he had a sombrero on. The cucaracha. Unbelievable. And the third one is Patty said that there's been more, much more renewed interest in 12 High Street, the big yellow yes. house across yes. from the tavern. Yes. Yep. But uh, I guess a. You know, people come in and ask, and nothing happens. But this sounds like it well, might we be. We changed the sewer now, didn't we? Yeah, I think it comes out the high street now. Yeah, you were saying that was done five years or a few years ago. Yeah, that time goes by. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Did we get a new Chinese restaurant down in the corner? No, you did. Or did it change hands already? No, I think it was one partner bought out another right. partner. Right. Oh. Right. Just stayed. Yeah, just <laughs> well, I didn't make it to the old one. I said, well, do Where? we have two of them down there, there now? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, oh. Uh, you you know, right, corner, right next to the house. Auto parts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Auto parts. Yeah. 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 It's very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I heard, too, was yeah. one partner yeah, bought out the other it. one. It's not yeah. Yuki Asian anymore. It's, it's new Yuki. I don't know. I heard it was that. I don't remember. I heard it was that. It's a beautiful space. Yeah, it's beautiful inside. Yeah. All right, so there's not two restaurants down there. No. I was just having to think about that. No, he just that. is on his Does own. anybody have any additional new information or anything they want to discuss with the board? I want to discuss this. What is that? <laughs> just <laughs> basic. The, I have a fellow who's going to come in, and he's going to let me fold all of my bills with a folder. Okay, a good, nice quick folder. He's going to let me use it this time. And I'm, then I will be able to bring something to the commission in case it's something we might want to consider purchasing. Do you have an estimated figure as to mm -hmm. what it might be if the folding? 900 to to $1,000. Okay. Is it just a folding machine? Yes. Okay. Yes, because if you start adding insertions and all of that stuff then you get up into the thousands and thousands. Is it thousands. limited on sizes? I mean, I don't, I don't really think about a folding machine. So. It's just, um, you know, <laughs> instead, of, <laughs> instead of Mary and I folding them. During these meetings we could have folded a lot of them. All. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, have. I'm with Mike and Mike. I get all gaga <laughs> over pumps and stuff like this. Folding machine doesn't do anything for me. Okay? It's, it's very slick. All right. But slick. Can I ask you, is there other folding in the town that maybe this would be beneficial for? I'm, yes. I'm assuming That's they must fold tax, tax bills. bills. Tax bills. I mean, well, the tax auto bills, registration. she just had to re-outsource that. Oh, because right. that's well, they charge us $50 a month for something, so. so okay. Just reverse it. So we, we, yes, we might be able to get a little rental fee for us. If they, <laughs> ju they charge you, anyway, you call. We I, look forward to your excited it. report <laughs> at the next meeting. It was no. worth doing. Are you going to bring us a folded sample? Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, yeah. You can probably even be invited or to I go watch. Yeah. The deliverance you know, going out of Dave's do, eye I over there. I could probably oversee that. Yeah, we'll see well that. instead of it taking, you know, two days or three days to get them done. It takes like an hour. Hold it in. Yes, exactly. Like we're gonna do. When, I had, business, we're gonna when do. I had a business and we did both well, mailing. When I, I, I summarize this meeting for the selectmen, <laughs> this will be the highlight. <laughs> yes, well, it should right. be Very because good. it could be beneficial Report. to the town <laughs> side. <laughs> it would be, uh, be an adequate expense to the town side. Well, uh, well, yeah, because now you're going you're to charge them. Yeah. <laughs> We'll deduct something off the back truck. There was there was a, 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 they'll have a folding machine, but they'll have the plug out of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we'll charge, we'll charge yeah, for the regular. electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. You, you do. Can, well, you can go to a pump station in you and you can use it down there. Yeah. All right. You get a beautiful view of the river and the Well, I, I'm glad that you've looked into that. I'm uh, glad you've taken it upon yourself, too. I think that, that is a great labor-saving mechanism. And $900, I can imagine. I we get it back. Thousands of letters yeah, for like some we organizations, get it back. and it is yeah. very mind-numbing. <laughs> yeah, I've never done it, but I would imagine it. Does it like stuff them in the envelope too? Huh. No, then we'd have there to add up another that few. Do. They do. Yeah, but they they seal do. them. They stuff them. They. That's where Kinkos or the prisons them. called for. It's like ten thousand dollars. So that's. Not, you know, we're not, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. 
Seeing that there's no other business, I'll entertain oh, so a motion to, we skip to adjourn. Stony Lodge Street? I second the motion. What? We skip Stony Lodge Street? Oh, Lodge Street. We read it. I was wrong. Oh. Did you have Part input on it? No, I just wondering. <laughs> oh, I mean that. We have a permit for uh, Maple Ave for new construction of a family dorm. It's all been signed off, so I mean, it's, yeah. we went through the billing adjustments and everything. Okay, so. Now, that being said, I have a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn at 6. 6.49 p.m. Six, and second it. All in favor? Aye. Thank you all very, very much. Great Enjoy this nice hot weather.